we have defined two types of product, the functional products and the innovative products. Functional products have low margins. Innovative products are bound to have higher margins. Uh, functional products are more affected by the physical function cost. Change of cost affects the profitability of functional products a lot more. And um, the change of availability or change of customer service affects the innovative products a lot more. So the more innovative products are more affected by the market mediation cost. Now, based on these classifications, we've defined two very different supply chains, the efficient supply chains and the responsive supply chains. The efficient supply chains are low cost. We, we, we focus on doing things at the minimum cost as possible. So if you have to buy from far, far away, go ahead, buy from far, far away. When we have to increase product variety, uh -uh, no, we don't increase product variety because remember the logic tree, increasing product variety will increase forecasting errors and increasing forecasting errors will increase cost. We do not want to increase cost for functional product. So functional products, efficient supply chains is not about increasing variety. Logistics, use ocean, use road, whatever can reduce cost. Buy in bulk if you can. Responsive, completely different. While we try to manage variability, uh, we, we do offer variability, but try to manage it. Buy, we buy as much from close uh, around us as possible. We do not focus on capacity utilization. Higher capacity utilization would increase lead time. We'll, we'll see that in, in one of the future lectures. So we, we try to be as fast as possible, ensure capacity is available to serve customers. In logistics, it's okay to increase cost and use um, high cost, but high speed alternatives. So this definition brings us to two principles or, or two notes or whatever you want to call them. Principle number one is what is a good supply chain? Well, a good supply chain is a supply chain which satisfies the needs of the product. So if I have a functional product, a good supply chain is a low cost supply chain. Versus if I have an innovative product, a good supply chain is a responsive supply chain. So there's no one definition of a good supply chain and, and it depends on the kind of product that I as a company have. That's principle number one. And principle number two is, is this idea that we can design a supply chain to suit a product strategy. Now, if a business tries to change that product strategy, that supply chain is not going to work and we'll have to change the supply chain strategy as well. So let me give you this example. I work for, I am in sales for um, um, a functional product company. And I push my company to increase product variety because by selling, increasing product variety, I may be able to increase my sales. Is that a good thing? Oh, hell no, not for a functional product because increasing variety would increase costs. So for a salesperson in a functional product company, the task is to increase sales of existing product and not to increase product variety. And the opposite is true for a salesperson in an innovative company. Let's suppose the sales in an innovative company wants to reintroduce a new mass market product. Well, you should not be doing that because your supply chains will not be able to profitably serve um, um, your uh, kind of new products that you're trying to uh, introduce. So the second principle is, is that while we can design supply chains to, to suit the kind of product strategy a company has, but now that supply chain strategy will constrain the future new products, the future of that company. So, so we have to take care of that constraint. And, and to end this session, I want to talk about um, the product shortage, toilet paper shortage uh, of this um, that all of us have encountered. And um, when I say that's a good thing, now, now start thinking about this. Why is it a good thing? Toilet paper, is it a functional or an innovative product? most likely functional, right? Low margins, um, very low product variety, it's a functional product. So functional product when, uh, what do you think should be their capacity utilization, high or low? Generally high, right? Because low capacity utilization would increase cost and we cannot afford an increase of cost in functional products. So functional product, uh, toilet paper, high capacity utilization. So if the capacity utilization is high, and the demand surges, the factories or the manufacturing will obviously not be able to satisfy that surge demand. So that 
we had a shortage of toilet paper is a proof that the functional supply, product supply chain, which is the efficient supply chain, was working right. In, in fact, if we did not have a shortage, it would have said that all this while we had a non-efficient supply chain for a functional product, which would be problematic. So shortage of toilet paper proves that it's a good supply chain rather than being some kind of indictment of it being a bad supply chain.